It just shows him uh, I have a name for myself and he knows who I am, so he better not think I'm a nobody. Melee's greatest rivalry was never about mutual respect. I would be lying if I, would, you know, didn't really want to fucking beat his ass. It wasn't even about skill. Wanna fuck up left, 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 wanna fuck up left. It was about two players who couldn't stand each other. I have been pretty upfront about the fact that I hate him as a person. Maybe in two years, understand that sometimes talking shit and then getting destroyed for the 15th time in a row might be the reason you'd play badly. This is the story of two of Melee's most controversial players and their bitter rivalry. Oh! Oh! I'm dead! Leppin jumps out of his chair! I took that to heart, bro. Oh, oh, yep. To bite him, but the way this is going, it might just not matter. Wow. There it is. Wow. Wow. And and yes. With the patented that forward air. He loves that forward air, man. Damn. How many times have we seen HBOC nail him with that forward air? Oh, and my walk goodness. Off and Ooh, the double Woo. no fist bump. Double no double disrespect. Super Smash Bros. Melee is a game known for its rivalries. Over its roughly two decade long history, it's created countless legendary matchups. But one feud in particular has defined the game for the last couple of years. Leffen versus Hungrybox. So Leffen versus Hbox has actually been, they, they have had a long rivalry and uh, it's gotten a bit personal yeah. at times. It These guys do not like each other. It's a rivalry between the two best players in the world. A rivalry between two controversial players who have both been called villains at some point in their career. A rivalry between a god and a god slayer. Hungrybox's legacy in Melee predates his rivalry with Leffen though. See, this guy is one of Melee's five gods. Mango, Armada, Mewtwo King, PPMD, and of course, Hungrybox. For over half a decade, these five players won every single tournament they attended and the community called them gods. For a long time, Hungrybox was considered the weakest of the five. Often he'd get so close to victory only to have it snatched away from him by Mango or Armada. But eventually, Hbox overcame those losses and put himself in contention for the title of the best player in the world. Oh! It's a back Lippen. there, this is big. He recovers. Lippen. Oh, Lippen. 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 the winner. Lippen. These days, Hungrybox is pretty popular, but that wasn't always true. And there are still some members of the community who can't stand him. Who threw this at me? Fuck off, dude. There are three main reasons why people hate Hbox. His onstage antics, some behind the scenes drama, and of course, his main, Jigglypuff. And then obviously Mango <laughs> mains Puff. <laughs> and conveniently at that tournament, Hbox ha has his like breakout performance. And I was like, well, I guess. I hate Jigglypuff too. Well, then you can relate to me. Yes. She has been like, been a torture for me for like she, the past. She, she, she has been 17 years. my kryptonite for a decade. <laughs> Almost two for me. <laughs> Unlike the rest of Melee's top tier characters, Jigglypuff is slow. So to make up for the speed difference, great Jigglypuff players try to slow the pace of the match down to a crawl with defensive play and camping. And once Jigglypuff players have their opponents where they want them, well, that's when they use Rest, a move that is almost always a one-hit KO. The playing pressure's around, on. Playing around each other right now. Armada not giving him anything. Not Nobody gets anything. hit. He gets that, that could be it! Ah! Oh, the oh, to reset the bracket! To reset! reset. Meet the double jump! Wakes up the air dodge and Armada! He's gonna play one more set! Hungrybox sitting back down! What a sequence from Hungrybox! Oh my god! Obviously, using Jillypuff at the highest level is super difficult, and Hungrybox is a great player for doing it. But some fans don't see it that way. For them, watching Jigglypuff play a match is slow, boring, and unfun. In the sudden death, Armada just ran at him and kicked him. That does not count. Right. See, Fox won. He did not actually win. Yeah. That... By our, <laughs> by the community rules, percent is uh, what determines the right. winner loser. I don't know if you can hear this in my headset, but like, listen to the crowd. Yo, the crowd is not happy. <laughs> Hungrybox says, what are you going to do? Just listen to this. 
But Hungrybox is the master of that unfun character, and he has spent years dominating the scene with Puff. But among all of Hungrybox's haters, one stood above the rest. A young upstart from Sweden who toppled Melee's hierarchy and made a name for himself by beating all five gods. Leffen. He's toast, dude. I feel that way. There's sl I see Slob coming from Yuji King. Yeah, we can't, we can't, There's, this uh, is not the time for Slob. You know what it really is, is he's there. just running at Leffen, right? There's That's it! That's it, and Leffen takes it over Mewtwo King, a three-stock on Dreamland. Leffen has made history. Like Hungrybox, Leffen also had a bit of a reputation for being a villain in the Smash community. The things he says, like, really pisses me off. This is just so stupid. Why, why would you do this? He's popping off. I'm smarter than you, I'm better than you. He just has this mentality of, I'm a king and you're just some peasant. He shouldn't get away with it. During his rise, Leffen was cocky. He was an amazing player and he knew it. And that kind of rubbed some players the wrong way, especially people in the European Smash community. In 2013, Leffen was banned from European Smash tournaments after players accused him of being toxic in a document known as Evidence.Z. So Evidence.Z was basically a way to sum up a lot of wrong things that me and many others saw from Leffen. We felt like we have to do something because this has been going overboard for a long time. Leffen's ban was eventually lifted because, well, he seemed reformed. He wasn't toxic anymore, at least not to other players. But he was still arrogant, and he wasn't afraid of speaking his mind. I, I don't need to say anything. Everyone knows what I'm going to say. And it's gonna be 5-0. <laughs> that, that's how it's gonna be. Wait, Wait I won four out of the five summer majors. Uh-huh. And I was like, and I lost two best of three sets. And you won how many? Oh. Right, right. From 2013 onwards, Leffen climbed the Melee rankings, but there was one of his peers that he just couldn't stand. Hungrybox. While Leffen may have respected Hungrybox as a competitor, he hated him as a person. Sometimes esports beefs are just for show. People like to talk big online, but they always seem to chicken out when they meet each other offline. That is not what happened with Leffen and Hungrybox. Whenever they faced off at tournaments, both of them made sure to let everyone know just how much they hated each other. Uh, the saying that, like, there's two kinds of people in this world, Hbox fans and people who met him. <laughs> how old is he, like 22, 21? I don't know. Maybe in two years I understand that sometimes talking shit and then getting destroyed for the 15th time in a row might be the reason you play badly. The rivalry truly began in 2014, when HBox did a little bit of showboating after beating Leffen in a Salty Sweet match. We have the tightest of battles. Sweden! Ole, 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 destruction! And that is it. Hungerbox said, yo, real talk, did you forget who I am? I'm one of the top four players in the yo, planet! Take it on him! Um, I really wanted the four stock really badly. I know he didn't want it, but um, it just shows him uh, I have a name for myself and he knows who I am, so he better not think I'm a nobody because he just got wrecked. And the rivalry has only escalated since then. Everyone knows that when Leffen and Hbox face each other in bracket, it's a must-see event because the salt will flow. So here we go. This is uh, tough for Leffen to make this comeback given the pace and you know the way that the game's been playing so far. Yep. Uh, it's absolutely possible for Fox to just, you know, find an up smash and tie everything up, but yeah, that oh, might be it. The rest. Game five, Hunger Box winning uh, with, I gotta say, you know, it's feeling Leffen's off the stage. Hunger Box is a mad dog. Wow. It's a mad dog. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Some flexing. And while both players were considered two of the best in the world, Hungrybox was just a little bit ahead of Leffen. He had both the head-to-head -head record and he was the guy winning all the big tournaments. And 2018, four years after their rivalry began, was looking like more of the same. Hungrybox was destroying competitive melee that year, winning almost every major tournament he attended. And Leffen? Well, starting that up. Take this jab. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh he's was... just, just waiting for the jump. Oh man. Leffen looking for an up smash. Yep. Up there, what? Oh, power shield. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, Hungry Box. Oh, man. And Hungry yeah. Box moves yeah. on. Yep. And another stone. With another the stone. Gauntlet. Another stone. Oh, which, one, which stone was that one? Oh, man. It took I power from Mango. He had soul with time already. Hungry Box moving yeah. very fast. 
that's the rest, he and says, Thanos that should have happened. <laughs> Going into EVO, the biggest Smash tournament of the year, Leffen was absolutely winless against Hungry Box. Bad Leffen fighting for his set life. His oh, chance oh to he's keep got oh. an invisibility and he reads the roll! Or he reacts to the roll! Oh, he didn't, he didn't think Leffen was going to land on that tree. Oh, he finally oh, can. That's, that's, it. that's it! Hungry That'll Box! Be. The full reset. You're chained to the 3-0. The only game that Leffen won was versus the Ness, right? Yeah. But Leffen wanted that win. He wanted to take Hungry Box down. Yep. 66%. Leffen with three stocks. <laughs> three stocks. Oh, he fought through instead of up Punched so that, him in the mouth. That's a little bit of a mistake from Leffen. Probably, you know, yeah. it could come back to bite him, but the way this is going, it might just not matter. Wow. There it is. Wow. Wow. After, a, like, losing three stocks in probably the first minute of the set, <laughs> that you know, was... Leffen collects himself, uh, wins a tight game two, in a scrap situation, and then game three, Just I mean... Just blows him out of the woo! water. What was that? After beating H-Bonx, Leffen continued his momentum, eventually winning his first ever EVO title and carving his name into Melee's history book. Armada has no shield. Armada has no shield! Leffen! Absolutely tearing through everyone today, Tove! Leffen is our EVO 2018 Super Smash Brothers Melee Champion. Hello, Ben. <laughs> oh my. I wish somehow I could convey the fact that we both take competing so seriously. We both put everything we have into it. That's why this game is so draining for us. He's one of the most talented players in the world, one of the highest skill peaks in the world. And the fact that he was basically able to almost 3 0 everyone today on a good day given the pressure, given the circumstance, is a mark of his greatness. After Leffen finally overcame his demon and won the biggest tournament of the year, it seemed like the rivalry could finally come to an end. <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. I have been pretty upfront about the fact that I hate him as a person. I actually don't mind him as a competitor, really, uh, except for the fact that he cheated at EVO and didn't apologize for it. These days, it's harder and harder to tell if HBox and Leffen have buried the hatchet but their feud will keep going as long as they can both wield a controller. Because regardless of head-to-head -head records, community titles, or rankings, as long as competitive melee exists, their battle to be number one will never end. Yes, it's okay. I have no idea. I have no idea if those can even be picked up. It's just like squeaking and squealing of the doors and shit. Who knows? There's also a weird, like, buzzing noise coming from somewhere over that way that I can't see. And it's kind of making me uncomfortable. No fire alarms, though. 